Oh yeah, it's the moo cows. How's it going? Well, that's not why I'm here. I'm not to stare at the cows. This is why I'm here. I brought my O2 Chevy van up here. Because again, this virus to shut down everything, it's not going away. So here's a here's some facts. Now it doesn't apply to all insurance companies, but I heard this on the news today that uh, State Farm and Fos. What? He's talking to me. Anyway, that State Farm and some other insurance group has just sent out $80 million in refunds to people because they're not, they're not driving their cars. So they're really not, uh, uh, you know, the policy is not doing what it's intended because people are basically parked. So I'm going to take advantage of that. I've already, uh, I'm gonna, tomorrow I'm going to contact a nationwide insurance company and just say, look, I got three vehicles, the Ford, this O2, and my O4 van, and two of them don't get driven at all. So I want a discount, a rebate, or whatever you guys are going to do, but I want you guys to go ahead and man up just like the rest of the insurance companies and see what he says. In worst case scenario, again, it's in the city. There's nothing going on. Virus is getting worse. Governor Roy Cooper just put out new restrictions for the holidays. So the whole whole damn system is falling apart. And it's a damn crying shame. Everything was going so well. Bernie Sanders just dropped out of the race. Thank God. But now we all we have is Biden, and he, he's a nobody. So it looks like Trump's definitely going to win the presidency again, as long as he keeps his shit together and handles this crisis with some sort of finesse. Okay. So that's, that's what's happening. Now... This will also allow me to control the vehicles a lot better. And at least I know what's going on up here. Plus there's all kinds of weird, you know, just weird things in the city. People are just, are freaking the fuck out. You know, I think uh, for the last 30 days, everybody being, you know, stuck in their homes is starting to give them all post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. It's like wartime. People can't handle being around each other that long and they can't stand being cooped up in the house. The kids can't go to school except for online. It's just a pure tea damn mess. All right. Hey guys, what's going on? Hope everybody's doing well. Every day it changes. There's something new every single freaking day. You know, new rules, new restrictions, new guidelines. Nobody really knows what the hell, you know, they're going to do. So I'm just going about my business the way I always do. And even though my business is pretty much shut down, uh, I'm not going to sit around the house and bore myself to freaking tears. It ain't going to happen. Uh, we had a good rain came in here last night, got the garden soaked. We got another storm coming in tonight, so the weather's warm. Ah, shit, we got a cold front coming in again tonight. That's kind of weird. But anywho, oh man, this whole thing. But you know what's going to be funny about this whole thing, I think, probably, is, uh, and, and it's not really funny, what's going to end up happening is I think this is dramatically going to change people's way of doing, uh, just doing things in the future. Uh, the social distancing, you know, you should see all the ads on Craigslist. I mean, there's some lonely ass people out there. I mean, holy crap. You know, uh, the people are getting desperate, especially all these hookers. You know, they, <laughs> they got no business. So they're reaching out, trying to get some guys to spend money on them. <laughs> and they're, and nobody here doing it. Nobody's doing it. 
So everybody is being affected by that. I thought that was a little bit funny. But uh, anyway, go to Craigslist under, you know, uh, misconnections, and you'll see some of the stupidest ads. Oh, my God. Some desperate people. Oh, God. Yeah, it's a mess. What can you do? It's, it is what it is. But, folks, y'all stay tuned. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Subscribe, comment, share, like. And hopefully you take advantage of your auto insurance uh, giving you another check. Who knows? Might get a rebate. Y'all have a blessed day. Tom out of here.